Right, part two, I'm looking at creating an essay or assignment using Mind View and planning it. So again, I'll let you choose which kind of map you'd like to use. I'm going to use the main I do in the middle, stick with a bit of continuity and select choose. So I need an imaginary essay or assignment, so I'm just going to type in there. What I was doing earlier with the idea map, I'm going to put world in there to start off with. Now planning an essay, you can actually plan it visually here by creating your symbols off of the main one, then breaking them down to subcategories. Then you can add notes and even reference it as well. So let's give it a go. So I'm going to double tap. This will be my first paragraph. So I'm just going to call this introduction. Obviously you can break down your paragraphs individually to what you want. I'm going to double tap here. I'm just going to call this main body. And last of all, double tap again, I'm going to call this one, no surprise, conclusion. There we go, so I've got a basis and outline for an essay. Now, if I select introduction, I could add a text note, and remember, I could come up here, add a text note, but I find it easier to right click and select there to add your options, because it keeps you focused on your map. So I'm going to double tap to create a sub paragraph off of introduction and I'm going to double tap again. I've taken introduction and broke it down into two subcategories. What I'm going to put in the first part of the introduction paragraph and what I'm going to put in the second. It kind of keeps your focus. So I'm going to click on the first one. So I'm going to put in there. I'll just put Asia in. And then on the end part of the first paragraph of the introduction, I'm going to put in. I'll just pop in America. It could be South North America, doesn't really matter for this example. So there we go, now I've got my first paragraph introduction, I've broken it into two subcategories. Now it keeps me focused, so the first part of introduction, remember, two finger tap, insert, and I'm going to add a text note. Comes down the bottom here, so now I can start adding data into there. What I'm going to do is click Command 3 of what I copied earlier in the earlier video, use that as an example. Okay, for Asia. Imagine you type this in as the first part of your first paragraph on the introduction. Then I can go to the second part, and then I can pop some text in there as well. What I do actually, so it doesn't get confusing, I'll just put America history in there. And I'm just going to select Wikipedia again. I know you can't use that as a source, but I just want to show you quickly. I'm going to highlight it, Command V. I'm going to paste into the notice if you type this out, Command V. And there we go. So let's have a look at what we got. Introduction, first paragraph on Asia, second paragraph, introduction on America. Again, that's kind of random. You'd actually break it down properly. And then you can work on your next paragraph, main body, conclusion. Remember, if you come up to top here and select number, and you can number the scheme. So that way, I could move America and decide I want that in front of Asia. So that will be my first paragraph, 1, 1.1. Always keeps you structured. Now why I'm here quickly, I'm going to show you how you can source as well. I wouldn't particularly use this for referencing. I'd use something externally like EndNote or Sortero or even Mendeley. It's up to you what you use, RefWorks. Let me show you the option here to give you that option. So say this is a quote, which it is. So I also say I would use externally. If you've got a book, for example, I could go insert, new source, book, let's put United States of America, enter. It will search with the WorldCat catalog as you can see down here powered. Find a book you want, I just use that as default and select add. Now I've added to the sources, I can now cite that quote by coming up to insert and it now gives me the option for citation, bibliography citation to text note drag over the ones you want to the right, add the page number if it's from a book, I just put 67 in as an example, and select close. Now you can see it hasn't given you a proper in-text citation, but when you export it, you can get a proper in-text citation and bibliography. And then you can carry on, carrying on with your assignment. Now what I'm going to do quickly, and we'll send that to Word. So go to File, Export to, Microsoft Word. Again, I'm going to choose Harvard. It does depend on what reference style you're using. Don't worry too much about this. This is just a template style, not the actual reference. 
and what you do is you come up to options and then you can leave everything default but I don't want the map if it look, to look like an essay or assignment and I don't want probably I'll leave include a total page to show you now here's the bit you need to look at bibliography style I'm going to choose Harvard now you haven't got great choices there by the way so bear that in mind and then select export and that's why I'd use something externally like Sortero or Mendeley save it to documents and replace and select open click yes or default enable macros yes and update number page and it's done so if I maximize it there again it's your title page there's your table of contents but this time I made sure the map wasn't exported and there's your essay structured underneath and you can see with introduction it's broken down to two subcategories America and Asia and if you wanted to actually you could highlight America and delete them both subcategories to join your paragraph together knowing you've covered what you want there's your in-text citation we did earlier and at the bottom there's your reference there so I thought I'd show you that quickly for something for you to play around with I'm going to do another video part 3 looking at project management next see you in a minute